Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial I'm just going to format these list items and I wasn't going to do this and what I'm going to show you is not even specific to fragments but they just look so ugly that I can't bear to leave them as they are and since the last tutorial what I've done is I've just made, I've set the background of the activity to white so um, this is set to white in the activity main layout that lays out the fragments and I made a few other little changes like for example in the Android manifest I went to the main activity theme here and I set, I set it to um, the system resources uh, something like theme.hollow.no title bar or something like that to get rid of the action bar on top which looked a bit unsightly and I've, I've um, did I already just say that I've added a description to this uh, fragment? I'm not sure. Well, anyway, I did. And um, apart from that, I don't think I've changed anything. So nothing major, just a few little formatting changes. And now I just want to change the size of these text, of these list items here. And I want to make the padding, I want to reduce the padding between them because they just look terrible and notice they are, although they're going off the end of the screen here, you can scroll up and down so I'm scrolling up and down with my finger on my phone here. So let's go ahead and change that and at the moment in course list fragment here which presents our list of items I'm using android.r.layout.simple list item 1 and I can supply my own layout there and if you google this um, in, in google then uh, where else would you google it then you can find the source code for simple list item 1 and you'll see that it's just a text view so we can supply our own formatting there and I'm going to just right click layout here and go to new Android XML file and I'll select layout for resource type and for file I'm going to put course underscore list underscore item and I'm going to scroll down here and select text view as the root node because you can use a text view as a root node but then you can't put anything else in it of course click finish and let's look at the actual XML view here and this um, somehow this is retrieve uh, a version that I made earlier I think but what I did was I gave it an ID of text 1 which I don't think is important I don't think it looks at the ID but I'm not sure it might do so call it text 1 if you're in any doubt and uh, I set the, the width to match parent the height to wrap content text color I've set to black and I'm going to give it a padding each list item a padding of 10 dp I think and for the text size let's try 16 and see how that looks and that's going to be transparent by default so since I set the background of my parent container to white then these items should look white as well and uh, one thing that I'm going to do perhaps in the next tutorial is just move this code outside of course this fragment because I want to use actually the data in my other fragment as well but we'll get onto that so now that I've done that um, I forgot the crucial bit which is to actually change this in my array adapter here of course I've got to also change this instruction as to which layout to use so I'm gonna it just pops up on my phone and it looks completely the same so let's change that let's say r.layout dot and that layout that I just created which was course list item and I'll run that and let's go to the console and see how it looks so console and here we go it's installing it okay it's up on my phone and if I show you the screencast this is what it looks like now which I think is a improvement and now it's small enough that we can see all the items and we can still click them just as before so that's it for this tutorial and until next time happy coding